Because you have villager kind of ideally yeah. stock tanking, you know? And not only that, just controlling so much of just the ground in general, having tree out at any given point of time. Yeah, for sure. And I wonder how Puff is going to do um, when Fox is rushing down and Ike is just spacing out. Yeah. I wonder how like it, how harder it is for Puff to set up yeah. uh, his neutral game or his camp game. For the 1v1 situation, I feel like it's going to rely heavily on if Fox can effectively zone out game and watch and try to like body him or just outbox him in neutral. Yeah, definitely. And you can see already Puff kind of coming out with like the traps, yes. throwing out the rocket and then trying to dash grab. Just got to get the timing right. He's going to get a really big combo off of that if Ooh. you can get that. We're seeing Game & Watch trying to go for these up airs, hopefully try and put Fox in the juggle situation, but the reversal with Fox's own up air right there. Yeah. Ooh. And this is something that you start to see. You start to see like um, interruptions, and that's where the really good teams are going to be separated from the great teams if they can follow up from those. Like you saw uh, that, Villager dash attack. Yes. The execution you have to have to be able to react to your teammate. And not only that, whatever situation they're in. Yeah. It has to be impeccable. And Definitely. just like that, getting two stocks, both teams firing blow for blow, not giving either one a lead. Yeah, definitely. You saw the back throw up air confirm right there yeah, from the Fox dude. to the Ike, which was really nice. It's good to see, like, really good doubles uh, conversions. Synergy. Like, yeah. all over the board. Like, you, you cannot breathe for even one second without having to react to some sort of juggle situation like this especially with two really strong hitting characters like that yeah and then you saw the trade so it's pretty much even right now we know the percents are a little different but you know one really good conversion can take you zero to 60 real quick you know Ooh. what i'm saying great back air from ike trying to keep butter at a distance villager having a lot of kill power just once they get Lloyd Rocket out on the stage. Yeah, for sure. And if you're not careful, the bowling ball is existing. It exists, and it's there. It's so. it's, it's palpable. <laughs> it's there. You can taste it. Trying to set up the tree, but going to clank with Game & Watch. Ooh. Brad trying to make a statement right there with that down smash, forcing his opponent off stage. Man. What's okay? That's that's really interesting. Always to see is um, when someone's recovering onto the stage. Like, do you try to edge guard them, or do you come back and try to get that stage control to see what you saw the Ike do? That kind of go out, and then I was like, no, I'm just gonna come back and kind of stay with my partner Ooh. to try to get a two v one. Yeah, the Ike getting the grab right there, throwing Game and Watch off stage, trying to go for the Hail Mary forward smash. But we get these nares, and they're good enough or not. Take this back throw, put them off stage. Yeah, what's he gonna do? Okay, nice spot dodge, just avoiding the grab there. Ooh, baited out the counter right there, but still getting punished with the up yeah. from Ike. Ooh, Butter is having a hard time getting back down to stage, but finally makes his way back and gets the back throw on Ike. Send him off. And the pickup from Bread with the back air to take the stock, too. Yeah, definitely. Oh, what attack from the Fox, but you still die. Yeah, it's. it doesn't matter. We're here. It We're, doesn't matter. It, that's, that's that next level. Oh, please. Oh, okay. We're good. That's that next level of thinking when you know like they're going to hit the tech, but it's like, okay, I'm just going to punish them after the tech. Exactly. So it's, that's You'll have to see that for sure. So. Yeah, it's the reactionary meta. Yeah. The up air. Okay. Yeah. Fox using that reflector to the fullest just to keep all of Villager's projectiles game yeah, you see out, that. Of, out of this match. Yeah, it's awesome that you see that awareness coming in. Uh, and... You know, we'll see what happens now, and now it's a 2v1. And this is the situation that we were kind of talking about. Villager is definitely good at the 2v1. It just depends how much stage control um, they can get. Absolutely. It's like, you know, you can stay on stage, but you can't afford to for too long with a fast character like Fox constantly in your face pressuring you. And if you try to back up, Ike has that huge disjoint just to catch your jumps and your landings. Yeah, definitely. So this kind like, of Okay, that back throw was clutch. Absolutely clutch using the Lloyd rocket just to help him get back to stage. Great Nair. But Ooh. man, Butter is stuck at this ledge with almost no answers and no hope. Yeah. And that up air will seal out that first game. Are we playing are we playing Smash 4? We got back throw up air? I know, right? We got back throw like, up air? Are we playing Smash like 4? <laughs> old school team synergy. That's the that's straight up freaking like cloud alley oops from yeah. back in the like old days of four. Yeah, everybody was saying when this game came out, Ike is the new cloud, man. And now you see why? Yeah, see man. Why? Has I mean, good nair, good up air, kills you know, yeah. really early. <laughs> you got five new sword characters with, like clouds, old nair, man. It's yeah, crazy. It's actually kind of nuts. And you saw like seeing like the villager do the two v one. 
Reminded yes. me about another Houston great. Shout outs to BC. BC. BC doing like two v ones. Okay, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. BC is actually the homie. Though. He is the homie. Like, his villager is unreal. Yeah, and for I, meta dominated with so many like hard hitting characters like Houston. Yeah, like it's crazy how he survives. Yeah, I think if villager would have had a little bit more patience and kind of was more aware of what the other team, the green team, is trying to do to trap them. Because, yeah. you know, you have to commit with a move to get back to the stage. And they're like, okay, I'm going to punish where you're going after that. I feel like if they have that awareness and yeah. patience, they probably could have uh, probably could have gone the other way for them. I so. can see how that's kind of one of the things that could turn people off from playing Villager of in a singles match. Just their, dis their tools to get out of disadvantage, like, make them expose incredibly long. Definitely. So, like, using that Lloyd Rocket just to get back to stage, like, you're going to be exposed for a long period of time and long enough to get clipped by a back air from Ike just like that. Yeah, and... Green team drawing first blood, I believe, again. So this is um, hopefully not looking the same way. We want to get some more matches in. So let's see if the yellow team could definitely bounce back. Ooh, it's going to take a lot of work, though. But Game & Watch is taking these three stocks. It's going to do a good job to take out Fox's first one. Definitely. They really have to work on this. Ike, but again, the alley-oop conversions have been on point for green team. Yeah, definitely. And you saw right there, uh, I think if Villager recognizes that Ike is going to be recovering high a lot, because that's what he's been doing a lot, yeah. maybe they can get uh, a stock. But it doesn't even matter. They got the stock anyways. So it's back to even stocks. Yeah. This is straight up classic Kyrie Irving, LeBron level plays of synergy right yeah. now. Just being able to follow up with your teammate the right way, the way they need to. Oh, and getting Ooh. these conversions on the ledge, taking that stock with the Aether. Ike. Yeah, seriously, Ooh. who is this man? Like, oh, come get, come get y'all's mans, please. <laughs> I'm begging you. Oh, yeah. Just straight up, Villager suffers so much for having to deal with Ike's giant sword. Definitely, and that's that's something we um, discussed at the very beginning of the set too. Is if Villager's going to be able to handle Fox's rushdown style, oh, and yeah, and Fox's rushdown style works so well to even catch Game and Watch. Yeah, those for sure. Getting the up smash right there, chasing down our boy Bread. Oh, but Bread getting the berry right there into the F smash to get that confirmed kill. And take Ike which, down to last stock. The nine oh my God! The nine hammer. Oh uh, what? <laughs> I I I'm speechless. The he literally that was the play he needed to make yeah. to put himself back in this game. Yeah, puts him in a really good spot. But you know, if you talk about, we have a so we have a sortie oh. over here. Yeah, oh, having, okay. dealing That's with the sortie in this situation, like you're gonna need a miracle or yeah. maybe a nine, yeah, something but to Doof get you going. But Doofus is definitely one of the more um, well-versed game and watch mains of Houston, so he definitely knows how to get the combo game started. All he needs is one good setup like exactly. this. These up air juggles are working He's out so in. well. Bread, oh my god, yo. Our boy cannot land. Ike having the struggle of a lifetime finally makes his way back down. Oh, but man, off stage against Game and Watch, this oh, game could be in. Oh my and the god! Yellow team takes game number two. Dude, let's go, Doofus out here Ooh. going in. My man, Doofus. HSN, come get your boy, all right? Come, come, get, come get your boy, please. Oh, 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 all right, all right, man. Man, that was that was nice. That was super clean. Just Definitely. the execution off of that blast back air catching Ike trying to recover low under the stage because there was literally nowhere else Ike could go with that situation. Yeah, definitely. And like I said, Doofus is one of the more knowledgeable Game & Watch mains in Houston. So getting that one neutral win was like all that he really needed. And he really seemed like he just pushed his advantage. Like, oh, and look at this time. beautiful nine right here. You know, you take out your own teammate. But hey, the trade off for that is you take it down to a solo 1v1 yeah. situation. And in that sort of pressure, stance you have all the time in the world yeah to be able to figure out what your next plan is going to be yeah and definitely you saw doofus finally doofus being the last person standing this yes. game as opposed to puff the last game and you know just good stuff they're both really close games so let's see if game three is going to provide us more or less the same thing all right puff already starting out trying to use this void rocket to the fullest before fox can smother and get his paws all over him Oh, he's just he's throwing out the nine. He just yeah, throws just, it out, dude. No <laughs> fear. He's like not even close to anybody. He just throws it out. That's how you know he ha he does not care. Man, these Game & Watch mains live on the edge of tomorrow. 
Yeah. Absolutely no regard for anyone's life whatsoever. The yeah. back air Definitely. from Villager. Okay. Good, good air dodge right there from, uh, from Puff right there coming in with the back air. From Ike. Ooh. Okay, that's going to be the stock for sure. Ike almost getting another one right there to boot. But no go, no dice, no way, no how. Yeah. Oh, that pushing was, him off the stage. That was really smart play right there from Puff. Knowing that Ike is trying to push for that Game & Watch stock mm. and then Puff throwing out uh, Slingshot and Nairs to kind of push him away from his partner to help him get back to the stage, which is a really smart play. Two down smashes for the price of one, getting both of the green team and taking the stock from Ike with the F smash. Okay. Yeah, this is something that's like really important that we haven't really seen as much until the end of Game 2 and this game is the down smash from Game & Watch. Yes. That puts, if you get two people, you know, Villager can come up, up smash, and then Game & Watch takes care of the other one. So you can definitely get like a two stock kill. Down and smash is just incredibly good at covering a lot of ground for a situation where you get stuck, where all four teammates just get stuck in the corner. And yeah. you need a quick, fast option just to get someone off you. Definitely. Or at the very least, lock someone down. They trying to come up with a get up attack. Ooh, the converge right there. Yeah, that was a really nice conversion right there from Butter with that Fox up smash. Yes. And finally bringing Puff down to second stock. So, you hey, know, up until then, Puff was doing a really good job of, like stock tanking and kind of just holding that first stock, kind of giving the yellow team more of an advantage. Well, I so, almost want to ask, is it too little too late with how much green team is bleeding right now? Yeah, Fox had a last stock already. So. Oh, and that's going to be it. I, on his loot's lonesome right now, gonna have the share stock go into effect and take that Game & Watch stock with oh, the back air clean. That's that's unfortunate, missing the ledge from the side view of Ike. Now it's three stock to one. Oh man, they're trying to go for some some combo game right now. They're gonna now. go in, yeah, they're trying to go in, man. This is Houston, man. Why not? You wanna put on for the city, for the culture. Yeah, this is Houston, bro. Houston, gotta, we go in. You gotta do it for the culture. I, now, I, now I gotta see a nine hander. I yeah. gotta see a nine hammer to close out the stock. Please. Ooh, great back air right there just to push Fox off stage. Trying to go for the down smash right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he just went off and Ooh. tried to hit it. He, okay, okay, the back air is gonna be good enough to take it. And yellow team gonna take that 2 1. Yeah, shout outs to Doofus and Puff going yes. in. My Southeast boy Puff going.